Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to create this creative but cool looking pencil animation inside of Cinema 4D. So if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Cinema 4D. So first thing first, we will increase the time timeline of this. By default, it's 90 frames. So let's make it 180 frames over here and let's stretch this timeline. Okay, perfect. Now we have to create some models. So let's go over here and choose our cylinder tool. But as you guys can see, we cannot see any edges over here. So simply press N, then press D so we can see the edges. Then rotational segments, I'm going to make it six like this go to the right view and let's increase the size of this one thing like this okay and now uh, press c to make this object editable and now select those points select this point and let's move this point over here like this okay so this is gonna be my pencil so simply double click to create one material first and simply apply on this material I mean this on this pencil double click to open this and let's choose particular color I'm going to choose this red color like this okay now select this select this polygon tool and we'll press U L to select the loop selection and let's select this first now right click and we are going to choose loop path cut and we will create one cut over here like this okay double click and apply this material over here like this then select this again select this polygons again and press ul again to select loop selection and we will select this double click and apply this material over here and we are going to choose black color for this and instead of this white i'm going to choose something which is not completely but close to the wood color of this like this okay so we are gonna get something like this now select this loop selection again press ul and let's select this loop right click and let's but before that let's select this point first hit ctrl 8 so we can select all the points right click and choose optimize we have to do that first and then select this and we will uh, select this much portion like this and if it's not gonna have full to select this portions all you need to do go to the front view select your rectangle selection tool and with the help of this you can select the uh, this faces which are at the bottom like this then right click and i'm going to choose inner extrude shortcut t is i simply click on it and extrude this inner and then apply this black color over here like this so we will get this effect over here okay so this is done now we have to add our edges on entire this thing so select this and hit ctrl a to select all of them right click and i'm going to use my loop card path cut over here again and by holding shift i'm going to create one line over here and over here number of cuts let's choose 50 then one line over here by holding shift and let's choose 10 cuts over here like this one line over here and let's choose five cuts okay so our cuts are also ready so press 9 e so we can select this move tool shortcut key is e okay so our pencil model is ready uh, now we have to create certain part so it can animate so for that i'm going to choose my splines and i'm going to choose the circle let's select this cylinder double click on it and let's call it this as pencil and hit enter sorry okay now this is circle gonna act like my part but we need to reshape it so first thing first we will increase the size of it to 1500 like this and let's make this 1000 only not too much we can manipulate it uh, later 
and then press C to make this proper spline like this as you guys can see after applying the C we are not gonna get this radius options etc but we don't need that also so now we will go to the deformers and we will choose this twist deformer and we will move this inside this circle then select this twist and make this come fit to parent like this and angle of rotation let's make it 180 so as you guys can see now this is completely rotated like this okay then now we will select this circle right click and we are going to choose current state to object like this so now we have this circle over path over here and now we can delete this path also so now as you guys can see we have this path like this now i want this pencils to should start to animate along this spline so for that we are going to use deformer called spline wrap so simply click on it and move this inside the pencil and then we need to in tell this deformer that we need you should follow this uh, path or spline so over here you will get this option called spline and all you need to do simply move this spline over here as you guys can see now this is looks kind of weird thing because the axis is not properly because this pencil is pointing upward uh, and upward means in y direction so select this spline and we should choose this plus y so as you guys can see we will get something like this if you choose this minus y we will get this thing in opposite direction so let's choose this plus y only like this and now over here this 2 it's 100 now if you choose this 50 now this is going to follow the halfway let's make this 30 and let's see what we'll get i think this much looks good or let's increase it to let's say 40 maybe i think this looks too much because if you see over here we are gonna get some bendings over here so let's try to make this 30 and let's see what we'll get if you're still getting this bending there is one other thing you can do also let's make this 40 and after that you can apply this subdivision deformer over here and move this this is not a deformer actually let's select this pencil and move inside the subdivision surface now as you guys can see it's proper like this and if you hit ctrl r we'll get something like this so let's bring this outside we don't want the subdivision deformer for now let's make this 30 only and let's select this pencil press t so you can select the i mean scaling tool and let's increase the size of this pencil okay and now you can select this spline wrap and now you can increase this to let's say 50 only that's also okay like this now we need to add our camera so i'm gonna select this camera and i'll adjust the proper angle first like this and i'm going to choose not parallel view at least for now i'm going to choose this kind of angle over here like this i think this looks good to me okay and now we need to start the animation of this so i'm going to select this spline wrap and then i'm going to create one keyframe at offset go i'll go to around 180 and let's make this 100 properly select this and create another keyframe and if you go to the start i'll get this kind of animation as you guys can see it looks good now uh, the thing oh, the one problem over here is that the like in after effects we apply is in is out it's all by default uh, applied over here so i don't want that so for that uh, removing those things what we need to do simply select this offset and right click go to the animation and choose the show f curve and let's cut it out and again select this sometimes you cannot see in i don't know why this error over here now over here you will get this offset property graph all you need to do simply hit ctrl a if it's not selected so shortcut key is ctrl a and we need to choose this linear like this and let's close this okay so now if i see this i'm gonna get this continuous animation and 180 is my looping point so after 180 it's gonna repeat the animation from the start so we'll get this continuous animation throughout uh, our scene but after that we want to add some more pencils so first thing first we will select this pencil and this circle and i'm gonna click alt g which is a shortcut key to move all these things inside this one null okay now i'm gonna select this null i'll double click i'll all call it as red and simply hit ok and by holding ctrl i'm gonna duplicate it okay select this double click and let's call it as blue and hit ok now uh, let's call it as blue hit ok i mean enter now let's go inside this and now we have to change the color of this red to blue 
so simply select this red color and by holding control i'll move this over here so it will create a duplicate of it and let's double click and change the color of this one to let's say bluish color like this you are free to choose any color you want i'm not very good with colors so let's and now over here on pencils you will find the red color over here all you need to do is simply move this on this red so it will automatically replace that now i'm going to select this blue i'll go to the coordinates and on y axis i'm going to rotate it on 90 degree or let's say 180 degree like this and if i hit play now as you guys can see they are moving like this okay now let's select this blue or select this red and by holding control i'm going to create a duplicate of it like this and now we will rotate it on let's say on z axis like this to let's say 90 okay and now what i'm gonna do uh, let's move this over here press e to select your moving tool and now we need to move this over here like this okay so now they are gonna animate like this okay like this let's select this and as you guys can see it's minus four let's make it proper value minus 400 so it's gonna be like this okay so there is no much more rocket science over here it's just a simple match so select this and let's call it as green and simply hit ok uh, again we need to follow the same procedure select this blue color by holding control create a duplicate go inside this and let's simply apply on this red one and double click to open this and choose greenish color like this okay so now if i hit control r i'll get we don't need to hit Control R at least for now because our animation is not done yet. Now select the screen, hit Control, and by holding, I'm going to create a duplicate. And now over here, we are going to choose different color, and let's choose yellow, and hit OK. Okay, and now we have to make it. Let's say 180 maybe, and let's see that not looks good. So let's rotate it on h heading let's make this 180 okay so we'll get this kind of stuff and now again duplicate double click make this yellow hit okay go inside this and replace with the screen like this okay so adjust your camera like this and now we will get this kind of animation for the pencils okay now if you want you can simply go inside this deformers uh, like this spline wrap and in object you can move this to 240 if you want also let's select this and move this to 40 this one also 40 and this one also 40 okay so we will get a little bit of gap between those things so now it's a it kind of looks complicated but it's create a looping effect on your animation like this okay so now this is also done now what we need to do we need to add some lights in our scene so let's go to choose area light let's increase the size from here and increase the size from here go to the top view move this lights over here press r uh, sorry press select this light press r rotate it like this then rotate it like this go to the right view press e w and move this light over here and if you hit ctrl r we will get one light from here select this and in shadow let's choose area light and if you hit r we will get this shadows also now select this light go to the top view by holding ctrl move this over here press r w r w and we'll rotate it like this and let's see this we will get this kind of stuff okay now select both these lights hold control and create a duplicate go to the top press e and let's move this over here press r and let's rotate it like this okay and if you hit control r we will get something like this and now if you hit play we will get this kind of stuff now select all the four lights hold alt g to move inside this one null and let's call it as lights 
and hit ok and by holding control create a duplicate go to the right view press e let's rotate it like that press r and let's rotate it like this okay and if you hit control r you will get this kind of stuff but uh, you can skip this portion because as you guys can see the light is too much or you can simply select all the lights and change the intensity to 40 and let's see you will get this kind of results now if you think that this is kind of uh, looks weird so all you need to do is simply go to the subdivision surface select all these pencils and move inside this subdivision surface like this or uh, instead of that uh, you can move each and every one individually inside this subdivision surface so create subdivision surface little bit and move each and every one inside the subdivision surfaces like this so now if i hit play i'll get this kind of pencils animations over here okay so after this uh, we need to select all this subdivision surface and hold alt g and let's call it as pencils and hit ok like this and go over here go to the coordinates uh, and if, if you can see we can move this from here so let's create one keyframe over here go to 180 seconds and let's make this 360 create one keyframe right click animation show f curve select this and move this to linear and now along with this animation we will get the rotation animation for this pencils also like this okay so we will get this kind of animation which is in the form of loop and now if you want to create one background over here you can do that also if i hit ctrl r i will get this kind of results okay and then let's create one plane press Ro r for rotate and rotate it like this then increase the size from here then increase the size from here press e and let's move this over here let's increase the size like this okay then press e and let's rotate it move this over here let's increase the size from here and from here press r for rotation tool and rotate it like this okay now double click to create one material and apply on this and double click to open this and enable this luminance and let's make this luminance brightness to 80 percent okay and if you hit ctrl r you will get this extra background thing over here and if you don't want this it's okay you can apply some other uh, background materials like you can apply this color also so you will get this kind of results and uh, instead of that if you don't want that simply you can delete this and you will get this thing also and then you have to put this animation on the render so yep that's how you can create this looping animation of pencils so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned